Tonight, protesters gathered around the Tennessee Theater in downtown Knoxville, upset about a performance there. Critics of a holiday drag show say a Tennessee law should keep it off the stage. It forbids an adult oriented establishment or cabaret, including male or female impersonators, from taking place within 1,000 feet of a church, park, or school. But the law is unclear about whether that applies to venues playing host to a drag show. Reporter Caitlin Keenahan takes us downtown to hear from critics and supporters. The Tennessee Theater has hosted this show for eight years, so it's not a new show. A Drag Queen Christmas has toured across the country year after year, and this is the first time it's received any pushback. And we love a culture that needs Jesus and we're making sense. I've been saying, Lord, send, send me to the next place you want to send me, so... We came, we live in uh, by Johnson City, an hour and a half out of here. Hundreds of people came to the Tennessee Theater in protest. We're going to have church at the gates of hell. <laughs> Some individuals and religious groups believe drag shows should not be for all ages. Um, it's everything evil. There's nothing good about it. God made man, he made woman. Directly across Gay Street, hundreds of people also showed up in support of the show. Drag performers and all the ages attending. So I wanted to come out and support free speech and my friends and the trans and drag community of Knoxville. According to KPD, there was no violence and there have not been any arrests. The chants, songs, and conversations echoed all the way up the street. In Knoxville, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. And you can read more about how this controversy has developed, not just here in East Tennessee, but across the nation right now online, WBIR.com with several resources about that story.